So now we're out to uh, units 1208 through 1214, I believe. And again, some of these will just be painting casings. Um, we've got a rotted corner board back behind this gutter right here. And again, you're gonna see a lot of this, where the chimneys are stonework, you're gonna see a wooden cap that, that really is just a cap to cover the gap between the siding and the, the stone veneer. And again, you're looking for that black. You see the black behind it right there? See that peeling right there and then up along that line right there? So that all needs to be sealed and then repainted. And so I have a line in them for almost, not all of them, but almost all of them where it's a stone chimney, we need to do that. Some of the bay windows, this is an example of this. Somebody came in here and repaired. This is, uh, and actually on this unit right here, we don't have it in the bid because I think homeowners have to replace the windows, but the blown seal is, is blown on this window. We can replace that if they want. You don't have to replace the whole window, just that thermopane unit, we have them made for us. This is the bay window at 1210 on the front. And someone's come in here and tried to repair it with putty. And then they made a horizontal cut. So it just trapped the water in there. See all the bubbling and blistering. So that whole piece is rotted right there. So we'd have to replace that. That's the, an angled corner board. So it's actually two pieces. The thing that we do that's different than everybody else is whatever we take repair pieces, we back prime the back edges of the wood on all edges to seal it so it won't rot again. So if it does, call us back and we'll replace it. But uh, we've never yet had a call back for that. Um, this cap underneath the mansard window in the center is rotted. And then again, the mansard, um, the metal cap, that bottom edge needs to be sealed again. You can see a lot of the stuff that these guys did here. And it's so hard for homeowners. I say this so many times, but it's not just about price. It's really about quality of work. Because if you get a cheap contractor, they don't know what they're doing. And they come in and they do like on the back of this chimney, they do a horizontal cut. It's going to trap the water and it's going to rot a bunch of stuff. Um, we talk all the time about, and we get this asked all the time of us, well, what about using hardy trim, which a couple of the houses have a little bit of hardy trim on them. The problem with that is, if this was hardy board, here's a perfect example, and this idiot that did this work did a horizontal cut like this, eventually the caulk's going to fail, it's going to trap water. Here it's actually rotting the wood. I can put my finger, see the indentation I just made right there? So what happens is, because they're not back priming the wood, and it's a horizontal cut, it traps the water, and then it starts rotting this way and this way. So you wind up rotting a bunch of the, the corner boards. If this was hardy plank or uh, PVC or they cased it in aluminum, this stuff would still rot. The hardy plank or the PVC isn't gonna rot. The PVC will warp. Anytime a contractor tells you that they wanna install a maintenance-free material, do yourself a favor and your wallet a favor and just shake hands and walk away. We don't install that stuff. I own a lot of houses and I don't put that stuff on any of my houses because you want this to be your sacrificial trim if somebody's an idiot and does this, at least this rot lets you know, hey, Andy, I gotta come fix this, because after a few years, if this was hardy plank or PVC, which wouldn't rot to let you know there's a problem, eventually this siding would be falling off the house in a stiff wind because the framing behind it will rot. So you take something that's a $100 repair, and now you've got a $5,000 repair. And we see it all the time. So, I mean, I've had this company for 25 years. Everybody doesn't like me, everybody doesn't agree with me, and that's fine. But here's what happens when you do a horizontal cut with wood. See the wrinkling right here? Can you see it in the video? It's kind of hard to see it. Watch my fingernail. Look, I don't go too much with it. See me, I can put my whole hand through it. So when you back prime it and you seal it, you're good. And so like here, because they miscut all this stuff, it's all horizontal cuts all the way through at unit 1210. We would just go ahead and replace all that corner board. Wherever replacing the corner board, we then need to paint the, the three faces of the chimney or it'll never match up. You'll get like what you see here, see the line? from where the last bungler tried to, to touch this paint up. And, and they did a miserable job in caulking, you know? So some of the doors will need to be repainted, but we're just painting the casings. And again, some people debate whether we need to do that or not, but you'd rather spend a few dollars now and just paint this stuff than have to replace it. Plus it'll look cleaner. The siding itself doesn't need to be painted for quite a few years yet. You know, there's a few units that could use it, but most of them are in pretty good shape. I'm um, trying to think on 1212, which is where we are right now, and it's starting to rain, so we're probably gonna have to wrap this up. Again, you've got the cracking around the fireplace where you have the stone veneer, you've got that wooden uh, cap again. It just needs to be sealed and painted on both sides. Those are expensive repairs if they start to rot, so you really don't want that. And then we're on the right-hand unit right now, which is uh, 12, 12, I guess, right? 12, 12, I think. So 
12 14 i'm sorry so this one just gets a lot of debris if the gutter guys haven't come we'll get that limb off there we'll clean this gutter for her uh she's got the same issue on the chimney you can see where they made the horizontal cut right there and if i can get to my page and again i, I apologize i can't keep all this stuff in my head i've looked at way too many units today this one is where they miscut the siding so you got one row of siding that wouldn't cover the gap so we actually need to pull the third row of siding slide the second row up and add a a new starter course that'll seal that gap and then seal across it with clear elastomeric sealant and i thought one of these chimneys yeah here you go so some of these guys are getting leaks and you can see the bottom corner board is rotted uh, and again they did a horizontal cut up here whoever replaced this stuff and you can see the two toning they never painted the piece of chimney and the next two pieces they never nailed them one of them is kind of uh i can't see it now but one of them up there is delaminated i, I can't remember which one and so what happens with the Nietzsche siding is, and we run into this all the time, Nietzsche siding and Hardy Plank are not the same thing. Nietzsche is a cheaper product, it's cheaper to buy it, um, it doesn't have as many layers of aggregated concrete as a Hardy Plank does. And as contractors, we save about $2 a board buying it that way. So can, you can imagine doing 30 units in a complex like this, if you saved, you know, five or $600 a unit on siding, well, times 30, that's a nice chunk of change. So here on this, uh, on the right side, we would just be cleaning up, spot caulking these windows and repainting them so they don't rot out. The backs are very similar issues. All of them, almost every one of them has some issues with the bay window. Um, on a lot of these garages like this one, at 1214, we would just touch up the casings just to keep them from rotting. A lot of the bay windows, like this one, we would repaint it just to seal it up so it doesn't rot. 1212 is a similar issue, although the bottom you're not going to be able to see it real well in the video, but maybe I can zoom in. See, it looks like a line through the bottom edge. That's actually rot. So that bottom casing is rotted. We can't piece the bottom casings in or the top casing. We need to replace the whole stick. On the sides, we can spot repair them and caulk the joint and seal it. Uh, but the difference between our guys and what most everybody else does is every piece of trim that we repair, if it's not a full stick, it's a piece in, we're making an angle cut. Uh, so that it won't trap water and rot like you've already seen in some of these videos We'll come back um, when we're doing these decks and the boys have the ladders out They'll check these windows that I wasn't able to access so there may be some adjustment in the bid either way But we'll catch most of it and some of the units are really in great shape So it's just going to be a process as we go through to do this uh, So this is building 1208 through 1214 There you have it